Hello, friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? What marvelous beings might exist out there, hands extended in friendship, awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space? What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars? Systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby. Show us what you got. Three. What the hell? Two. What in the blue blazes is that? One. No, wait. Stop the countdown. Incompetent fool. I should never have sent you. What's shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word, constipated. <sighs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this. But the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him. Crypto-136 to a hostile planet, and he's disappeared. Maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? The second one. Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some craniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. Patience. I take your point. Prepare the mothership. That's what I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination. The planet Earth.
Uh. Orthopox to Cryptosporidium 137. Come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto! To ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul-smelling gas bags beyond the fence? Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. Now, Cryptosporidium! They eat with their mouths? Ugh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. Attention, Earth creatures. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. Mmm, Martha. You didn't tell me we was having barbecue for dinner. Wait a minute. That ain't steak. That's... Holy mother... Martha, give me the shotgun! This looks like a job for the Zapomatic. Fry that farmer! Extract and collect the brainstem from what's left of the agricultural engineer. Come on back, you gotta see this! They got a talking horse on the TV! I ain't never seen nothing like... Ah! Little green spaceman! Ah! I am not green. Be merciless! Let none survive! Well, meat's been on my feet. Excellent work, Crypto. Still in my poor guys, weren't it? What am I? Good work, Crypto. Evening, Ms. Turnipseed. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. Little green spaceman! What is oh, that? A new silo? Electrocuted him with a big old Crypto! That uh, human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space-time continuum. Oh, the Furonity. Vaporize them, Crypto! My radar shows more humans approaching. Get in your flying saucer and annihilate everything in your path. Take a spin in your saucer. Get a feel for the controls and then go ahead and start shooting. Is good as gold. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Oh, great. The human military industrial complex. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate them. 
Now! Open fire! Crypto, I hereby give you official permission to destroy all humans! Did you see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the U.S. Army. Right. Good. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to Silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The eggheads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. Now then, I know what you're thinking. What can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? Well, I'll tell you. It was in the earliest days of the Empire we realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, a Furon ship happened upon Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet, letting off steam, one thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves, but with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted, they represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. Crypto! I see a horde of humans up ahead, congregating at some sort of holy ground. Here's the plan. I want you to enter the fair. Find a malleable human and lead it back to your ship for... questioning. Get the picture? Crypto! That human is aware of your presence. The more people become aware of you, the more chance that those human policemen and the military will come to investigate you and take you down. Don't forget to disguise yourself, Crypto. You're not exactly evil. Must have been my imagination. Now that you're sufficiently disguised, continue using the Cortex Scan to maintain the illusion. You wouldn't want to lose concentration while surrounded by enemies. I want to be a cowboy, but who would be my cowgirl? What we need is the dumbest, weakest-willed, most malleable human we can find. Admittedly, the competition will be fierce. You just have to scan them all. I feel a sudden irresistible urge to wear pants and change my name to Ellie Mae. Round and round, over and over again until somebody dies. I'm queen. Finally, I was going to lick my lid if Mama made me take one more slurp of cabbage soup. I want roast chicken. Mmm, chicken of the sea. Or was it by the sea? 
All right, Crypto. I've analyzed all the thoughts you've collected, and I think I've isolated the perfect subject for you to... Probe and vaporize? No. Abduct and bring back to the mothership. My way's more fun. Abduct, not vaporize. Okay, but humanity ain't gonna annihilate itself, all I'm saying. Can I finish? Can I stop you? As I was saying, the newly crowned Miss Rockwell looks like a prime candidate for testing. She's envied and desired by other humans. She's highly persuadable. Best of all, she apparently has a brain the size of a peanut. Hypnotize her and send her back to your ship for collection. Implant a command on a puny human brain. Bend its will to ours. I want to thank all the little people, but there's no time. Gotta go! Car seems bigger and rounder and saucer shaped. La 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 and lots of wavy hair like libera. Wait a minute, where am I? This sure doesn't look like the pie eating contest. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's happening? Oh God, please, no. Oh, oh, it, it tickles. <laughs> it's probing time. Oh, yeah, right there. That's the spot. Oh, that is delicious. Never fails. Hurry, Crypto! The authorities are on their way! Get in your saucer! Wreak havoc by using your saucer's abducto beam to levitate a creature or object. Little green man, respect the cop. Those nearby bovoids appear to have been genetically manipulated by the humans. But for what purpose? I want you to investigate this bizarre mutated species. altered these pathetic gas bags and turned them into radioactive exploding zombie cows! Show them the folly of their mad science! From? Never mind that! You must stop him before he publicly reveals your existence. Go to this town hall and take the alpha male's place to address the pea-brained masses!
time to take the stage. Break a leg, Mayor Crypto. Assure them that everything is normal. No monkey business. That is, only monkey business as usual. The success of our mission depends on it. Now hurry, Crypto. The gathering will start soon. Every one of the dang cows, and then it looked like it stuck some sort of device up the poor thing. Clap, trap, and after all that, I didn't even get to see Miss Rockwell. She just walked right on by with her crops laid out flat in circles like a Fourth of July pinwheel. I told Edgar, there goes our savings, no new shoes for the twins, and I guess Darlene's just gonna have to live another year with that overbite. Greetings, fellow human agricultural engineers. There is nothing going on here. Everything is normal. Carry on with your pathetic human lives. That is all. Now, wait just a cotton-picking minute. Mr. Mayor, I've lived in this town all my life, and I voted for you twice in the last election. Now, I'm entitled to a god darn answer. If there ain't nothing going on here, how come all my cows is glowing like lightning bugs? What you say to that, whippersnapper? That... Well, that's just the uh, healthy inner glow that comes from chewing a, a cud of fresh green Rockwell grass. Why, I uh, chew it myself all the time. Got some in my craw right now. Better than snuff. You want to know what's been going on around here? I'll tell you what's been going on around here. Communism, that's what. I don't know about you, but I'm not willing to see the land our forefathers fought and died for fall under the boot of the creeping red menace. Not on my watch. So uh, the next time you see a strange light moving and changing direction at incredible speed in the night sky, you would uh, just think to yourself, no commie's going to distract me from my patriotic duty with a couple of bottle rockets. No, sir. Wait just a second. How in the world does any of that explain the destruction at the fair? Eat my lips. I will not rest until we find the perpetrators of the fairground carnage and uh, bring him to justice. Now hold on. How come nobody in Santa Modeste has been seeing anything like this? Because we're real Americans and they're not. Next. So, as you can see, there's nothing to trouble your puny human brains about. The mayor's right. This was all just a random series of suspiciously coincidental yet easily rationalized events. Yeah, that's right. Give it up. Let's hear it for me. Suckers. Good night, and uh, have a pleasure tomorrow. What a bunch of losers. Minds like mud. This planet is easy pickings. Crypto, did you hear what that human said during your speech? Must have missed it. Busy digging on the love. Focus! There's another human hive nearby. Santa Modesta, he called it. You must discover its location and make your way there. We've got more humans to control. Here we are, Crypto. Sunny Santa Modesta. First up, I want you to find the alpha male of this town. Perhaps we can gain an insight into the way this whacked human social hierarchy functions. Crypto, the first thing you should do is take a human disguise. In this mission, it's vital you remain completely incognito. If your true form is seen by anyone, the mission will fail.
lovely lawn, Judy. Beautiful garden, dear. You man-stealing stuck-up witch. The youth of this town need an outlet for their frustration. Good, clean, asexual fun. Yep, this pool party is just the ticket. This mayor is pathetic. So is this pool party. It's time to trash the place! Drop the teaster! Crypto, unfortunately, you seem to have awakened the local constabulary. Be on your guard. You'll need a new weapon to handle the Santa Modesta police force. So I'm unlocking your disintegrator ray. Try it out on the fuzz. Nice shooting, Crypto. They don't look so tough. Looks can deceive. These urban humans are savvier, grittier, stringier, harder to fool. Keep your eyes sharp and your wits sharper. Not in the open. Duck in here. Hold the frequency. Hit me. We're go for phase one. Our guys inside the station? Just waiting for the word. And the tape? In the briefcase. All queued up. Subliminal TV messages. What'll Majestic think of next? Search me. You know what a rhetorical question is? Not a clue. <sighs> Come on. Those black suits again. What's a majestic? I'm not certain, but it gives me an idea, Crypto. Wait, let me grab something to write with. If our plan is to succeed, simply reading human minds will be insufficient. We must control them. To ease the harvesting of their brain stems, grease the wheels, so to speak. Sounds like a gas. How do we do it? I believe your ebon garbed friends have provided us direction. Keep up with the black sedan! You're being outrun by a vehicle that can't even fly! Forget the black sedan! Stop those men in black from escaping! Die, scumbag. Scanning the documents now. Crypto, this looks diabolical. The briefcase contains a reel of magnetic tape and orders to commence an experiment in human mind control. Apparently, a human scientist is waiting at the TV station for these orders. He's an expert on the human brain. His name is... Sleepy Ernst. I want you to go to the TV station and scan Sleepy Ernst. Space Invader! Tools the human mind can be controlled by televised propaganda. And then I'll start my own cable news network. Ha ha! There's a heck of those majestic agents. America ain't gonna brainwash itself. We cannot allow the human race to be sleepy Ernstus's experimental guinea pigs. It should be our guinea pigs. Destroy sleepy Ernst! We better make sure his work is destroyed. Crypto. 
But Chester intended to broadcast mind control signals to control their own people. By transmitting signals from this station, they hope to make the human population paranoid and aggressive. Well, more paranoid and aggressive. I suggest we beat Majestic at their own devious little game. We'll broadcast our own very special episode. A mind control transmission from the mothership. A life of quiet desperation. A few minor adjustments to those rooftop antennae should make them furon ready. I'm sure you can handle that. All right, Crypto, here's the plan. We're going to use this television thingy ourselves to subjugate humanity to the indomitable will of the Furon Empire! <laughs> if you can bend the antennae in the direction of the mothership, they'll be in the perfect position to receive my Furon mind control transmissions. That's the good news. Here we go. Beginning transmission. Furon signal downlink successful. Oh, this is smashing. All right, I'm increasing the power. Wait! Crypto! The signal is too strong! Humans are weak! Their minds can't take that kind of amplitude! Quickly, Crypto! You've got to bend the antennae before they... Ew, that has to hurt. Ew, disgusting. Crypto? Crypto! Where did you go? Snack time. Investigate the activities of the human scientists. I want to establish the connection with the Majestic. That special seasoning has succeeded beyond my wildest dreams. These people are now rabid paranoiacs and incredibly hostile to anyone who's different. And as an unexpected side benefit, 78% of them are now registering Republican. I dreamed of drugging the food supply of an entire population. Now, it's my job. <laughs> God, I love America. The psychotropic compounds in that shison turned our lab rats into a pack of paranoid junkies. Clearly the scientists are responsible for carrying out Majestic's population control schemes. Normally I'd ask you to destroy the scientists, but we have a bigger problem. Majestic are using the food outlets to distribute their population control drugs. And it seems to be working. If every human in this country turns paranoid and hostile, it will make life for us very difficult. You may... They just took the diner, too. We gotta set up a line and hold them here. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm not sitting around here waiting to get abducted. Keep your panties on, Mary. I just got a word over the radio. There's an army convoy right outside this town. With tanks. Thank God! Thank Majestic. Silhouette got the army to do something right for once. Take some cars and go get them. Try and stop me.
If the scientists escape with the formula, our whole operation is at risk. Destroy those vehicles before they leave the peninsula. Use your Repulsotron, Crypto! Destroy those incoming missiles! Crypto! Don't let that cold chamber on wheels escape! Destroy it! Or the scientists destroy our plans for... Destruction! I say it's high time we abducted one of these men in. Really, really dark brown. And give him a good probing. What do you say? A brilliant fun. Like a gray baby Lennon. Hey, you commies make me sick. You're nothing without me. Remember that. The Chinese haven't already done. Go to hell, Klaatu. You think I'm scared of a three-foot space hamster? I think you should be. <sighs> now, we can do this easy, or we can do it hard. Your choice. What do you know about a down Furon scout ship? A what? Sorry, let me put it in baby talk. A flying saucer crashed somewhere or uh, captured. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course not. What do you know about Majestic? I know we're gonna kick your little green ass all the way back to Mars. I'm not! These weapons, where are you making them? How many agents does Majestic have? How many other towns are you in? Son of a... Don't get mad. Get sadistic. I think this calls for the Jumbo Probe. Monkey boy, you want it to stop, don't you? Then give daddy what he needs. Mind control experiment. Rockwell movies. Pure on DNA. Area 42. Uh -huh. Prepare to return to the mothership, Crypto. We're going back to Rockwell for the last time. In a second. Hold still, monkey boy. Let me just... I'm sick and tired of this two-bit town. Nothing ever happens. No dancing, no rock and roll. Why, if it weren't for that juke joint down by the river, I'd never get my rocks off. You said a mouthful, Cupcake. There's a whole wide world out there, and we're missing it. But where can we go, Billy? This town's a one-way ticket for wild hearts like you and me. It's tearing me apart! What you need is a new direction. Exactly. A real purpose in life. Freaking A! Ever thought about homeland protection? Home what? Wise up, Romeo. There's a half a billion Reds who'd love nothing better than to rip that varsity sweater right off your back. No kidding. Take this little pamphlet. It'll tell you everything you need to know about protecting your little corner of the country from communist invasion. Thanks a million, Daddy-O. Freakin' A. Wow. There goes a real American. A real American dreamboat? Meow.
That's the last of them. Must have papered every JD in this stinking burg. And our little film strip? Spooled up and ready to go. The pimply projectionist is none the wiser. <laughs> Won't those kids be surprised when Abbott and Costello turn into Jimmy and Johnny Kami Killer in Real Six? Good work, Agent. And not a moment too soon. We need to be in Santa Modesta yesterday. Don't break for yellow. Read me. Loud and clear. Sounded like Secret Agent Man was taking orders from the one in goggles. Want me to blow him up? Thank you, Crypto, but I have a better idea. See the plaza over there by the big screen? The humans drive their carbon combustion transports in, and thence view projected images for the purpose of entertainment! Makes perfect sense. I suggest we beat Majestic at their own devious little game. Oh boy, that Ike. You sure could barbecue with them. Huh. Oh boy. Ike, the barbecuing president. Now that's a platform for election. Sit back and enjoy the following educational presentation from the Furon Empire. But I hope none of the other ah, You can't do it! Oh. Eat pork, biatch! Blocking my shot! Get out of the way! Nobody! <laughs> no, Ten seconds! God, I hope not. We seem to have put a dent into Majestic's mind control efforts, but they won't stay down for long. However, if we can harness the massive power of television... We could brainwash the whole country. We can easily transmit our signal on normal television frequencies. All we require is a suitable guise, a persona the humans will trust. My research indicates one possibility. A human television presenter called Bert Wither. But he's made himself scarce. Perhaps he got wind of what you did to Sleepy Ernst. Forgive my impertinence, but you are an alien, are you not? How'd you guess? I knew it! I knew it! My prayers have been answered! On behalf of all the nations of the Earth, I welcome you to our planet, oh friend from another world. Gee, thanks. Means a lot. Enough chit-chat! We need to find Bert Wither. Where is he, pathetic crackpot human? You want Bert Wither? You got him. Follow me. Perfect. Please, come with me. Follow that crackpot. Never mind that he's crazy. He's our only lead. Boy, do I love Burt Wither. Even though he called me a crackpot in that TV interview, he said lukewarm fusion with him. The cook at this diner takes food to Burt Wither. He's the only one who gets past the force field and the guards. If that crackpot scientist is correct, Burt Wither is under heavy guard. And only this cook is allowed near him. You should use this cook to reach Burt Wither. Better get back to work. Armquist is my hero.
Food for Mr. Wither. Hold it right there, boy -o. Not so fast. I need to see some proof you are who you say you are. Like what? Like answer, smart guy. What is your name? Carmine the Cook, you want to move this along? What is your quest? To deliver this food to Bert Wither. Okay, you passed. And next time, how about a little garlic bread for your friendly neighborhood Flatfoot, huh? A secret entrance. It's just delightful when the monkeys attempt to use their brains. Please, don't hurt me. I'll do anything you say. I swear. You bet your ass you will. Come on, birdie boy. I got a little job for you. The success of the broadcast depends on you, Crypto. You must protect those towering transmission towers! Each tower has a transmitter at its base. If the army want to stop the broadcast, they'll have to take out those transmitters first. Regiments two and four, form up the main junction. One and three, take the flank. Attack waves, target the infrastructure. I want those comm towers out of commission. Support waves, your task is simple. Destroy the communist insurgents holding the television station. No beat-eating, vodka-swilling, Trotsky-eyed son of a bitch is gonna hijack this great nation's God-given airways. Not on my watch. Charge! <laughs> Incoming from the north! SMCBS oh. will bring you further news as it unfolds. Good day, John and Jane America, from north to south, from sea to shining sea. This is Bert Wither, coming to you live. towers now! All units, attack! 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 We have only a few moments until the army destroys our building. They're deploying tanks and, good lord, giant robots! <laughs> 
We should be able to discover what happened to Crypto 136. My scans have identified several radioactive areas in your vicinity, but there is one in particular that looks like it could be a crash site. I'm on it. Any of those baboons laid one hairy finger on me, I'll rip them a new asshole. What have you discovered? This is where 136 hit the dirt all right. You found his ship? A few little pieces, most of it's gone. Recover any Furon technology the humans may have found. And rescue Crypto 136. Monkeys this probably hitched the ship to what their the donkeys and dragged it back to their mud village so they can worship it as a god. I require access to this facility. My reasons are my own. Uh, no offense, but I got my orders. Now beat it. Let me through, or I'm gonna report you for falling asleep on duty. Yes, sir. Right away. March here. March there. March it yourself, jerk-off. Where could these humans have imprisoned Crypto-136? Find out if one of these military monkeys knows more. I'm so sick of guarding that stupid, shiny, round hunk of commie metal for those guys in the suits. Melt it down, I'd have a GI party with a toothbrush if I told the General to shut up and keep walking past that total UFO they make us guard. Those majestic... This majestic stronghold must be where they are holding Crypto-136. Yes. This is the end of the road. Thought you'd be alive. Ah, oh, Crypto. Look what they've done to us. Laid us open like an animal. How could intelligent creatures do this? Okay, monkeys. You want a war? You've got a war. What? What did you find, Crypto? We're dead. An honorable death at the hands of an enemy in battle, that's one thing, Pox, but they... they desecrated us. And they're gonna pay. Oh, yes, they're gonna pay. Don't make me... Ah! Oh, no. Ah! You want to end up like a predecessor. Return to the mothership. We'll use that data tip to. Are you kidding me? If it's the last thing I do, I'm gonna make them pay. Pay? Oh, we'll make them pay. Wait just a little longer to see just how destructive it will be. Bring me that data data tape at once. That's an order! 
It's like make me despair. I can take it. The data tape you retrieved from the human research lab has revealed a most disturbing development. They've successfully unlocked the dormant psychic ability hidden deep in their primitive brains due to a dash of furon DNA. Infiltrate the research base and disable its defenses from within. Then you will destroy the entire area with your saucer. What have you found? They got mutants, all right. My pants may look... You're nothing without me. Remember that. Humans using Furon powers. They're training these mutant humans for use in the battle against us. Destroy everything at their lab. Don't run into those waves of energy. Find a way over them. Destroy these primitive Tesla coils. They'll zap you with energy when you're near. Tesla. Catchy name. Good work, Crypto. Excellent work, Crypto. Now get to your ship and let's get busy. Midget Tommy! to cripple their military forces. I want you to infiltrate the main base and find out what the warlords are planning. Don't worry, Pox. I wiped out all the smart monkeys in the last attack. All they got left are a couple of hairy-knuckled alpha males who don't know thing one about intergalactic warfare. I mean, come on. Any planet without orbital ion cannons is just asking for it. Human warfare is astonishingly primitive, which is exactly what worries me. They're just advanced enough to blow themselves up at any moment, and if they do, our chance of reclaiming our genetic future goes up in a mushroom cloud. That would suck. Okay, I'll go scout the base and scan a few monkey brains. Try not to let them detect you this time. We don't need any more complications. And you know how jumpy these creatures can be. Hey, 
it's me! Good point. Try not to kill all of them! Chain smoking and coffee will steady Higgs's nerves before the big showdown with Armquist in the main building. The head warlord will emerge from the main building soon. I've gathered you should get a close look from a high vantage point. Isn't ready yet. The X-13 was working just fine in the trials last week. There have been a few, um, hiccups. Hiccups? Armquist is headed here right now to see this thing fly. Are you telling me it can't? We've had some setbacks. I'll give you a setback. I'm gonna bring your whole goddamn agency up on charges. This is gross incompetence. Save it. Why don't you show your guests the nuke instead? I didn't pay $40 million to see another goddamn nuclear test. I paid to see the best goddamn fighter plane ever built. Ah, screw it. I'm going down to Sector 13 myself and find out what the hell's going on. General. You don't need to go to Sector 13. The test flight will go ahead as planned. What? A second ago, you said the X-13 wouldn't fly. I said it wasn't ready, but it will be. Your demonstration will go on as scheduled. Trust us. We're the government. Crypto? It's high time we met the base's head warmonger. Go and probe the mind of the human called General Higgs. Without these eggheads, we could never finish the X-13 prototype. Gotta keep away from all these hazards just a little while longer. Without these scientists, the prototype won't function. I've marked their locations on your radar. We must eliminate them discreetly. Do try to avoid attracting attention. Subtlety ain't exactly my forte, Pox. I love my country. I love my flag. Draw in the enemy. Make some noise, and when they get close, destroy them all! The path to the prototype should be clear, but avoid any men in very dark suits. Next on the agenda, stall the human war models. A little sabotage should do the trick. First, find the new X-13 these tin soldiers are building. More sneaking? Come on, Fox. I said sabotage. Go and destroy every human in that head. And destroy their equipment and their records. And keep the X-13 in one piece. Just make sure it won't fly anywhere. That's what I'm talking about.
make it good. We've had a breach. Small word for a big problem. Somebody got past the guards, snuck into Hangar 12 and wrecked the place. Our little gray visitor? Looks that way. Which means you didn't catch it. We came pretty close. Close doesn't count, Agent. The second it sets foot on base, I want it captured. And don't tell Armquist. We don't need any more help from the military. Call me when you've got it. Whatever you say. General Armquist, good of you to come. Thought you might be too busy running damage control out in California. Never too busy to watch the Air Force fall flat on its face, Jack. Corporal Patterson, let's show our guests what this bottle rocket can do. Vertical takeoff and landing! How do you like that? That's it? That's your ultimate weapon? Patterson! Get over there and tell McGillicuddy to get that bird in the air right this second, or he's gonna be testing go-karts for the next 20 years! Forty million dollars for that? Quist is inspecting their primitive aeronautical which We'll crush their pitiful air defense forces and destroy Armquist once and for all. Let me just load up the old disintegrate array and I'll be off. No! Listen, Crypto. At this very moment, they are preparing a nuclear device for testing in a nearby weapons range. A nuclear device? Don't sweat it. That monkey's as good as dead. Now John Wayne... Hypnotize one of the humans and command him to drive the vehicle to the airfield. if the nuclear device isn't activated, Crypto. Those humans want to disarm the bomb. Stop them!
30 seconds left. 10 seconds. Quist, you want to explain to me why our troops are abandoning Area 42? They're not leaving, they're regrouping. Everything's under control. Really? So the airfield hasn't been destroyed by one of our own nukes? It's that commie spy from Santa Modesta. He got in somehow, messed with one of our experiments. Don't worry, I'll catch him. That's what you said in Santa Modesta. Frankly, General. I'm beginning to question your resolve. Oh, I'm resolved, all right. That explosion was meant to take me out. You're saying this communist spy has a personal vendetta against you? Maybe you don't get the mindset we're up against. No, no, General. I'm taking you very seriously. The President should hear this. Get back to Capital City. I don't take orders from you. In this matter, I speak for the President. You know that. Oh, majestic. Activating our latest F-800 drones to scan these hegemonic edifices. Let me guess. You need me to babysit the drone. Communists! Precisely! Hasta la vista, Crypto! A house in the suburbs, a loving wife, a happy family, mowing on Saturday, church on Sundays, working for my daily bread, and a shed full of power tools. What more can a man want? Hey, Space Rat, you're terminated. Just one minute remaining. new weapon for your saucer. The Quantum Deconstructor. It has a blast wave that destroys everything. Try it out on the commercial buildings of Santa Modesta.
curse you, pathetic human! Ah! Vision blurred, bladder bursting, must get to a lavatory. Oh, my aching cranium. Crypto, you moron. First step is admit you've got a problem. Please, please, tell me, tell me I'm alone. Oh, thank you, great frontal lobes. But where in space am I? Looks like some kind of primitive laboratory, a, a cage. And humans are being held against my will, and not in the fun way. Uh, oh, they touched me. I feel so dirty. Okay, okay, that's it. I'm getting out of here now. I'm alive. It takes a lot more than a massive head trauma to keep me down. did you do with my clip, monkey boy? Phew! So much for wholesale carnage. I guess I'll just have to settle for ripping your limbs off one by one with my bare hands until I find it. With my bare hands. condition of your ship no idea the humans must have recovered your ship if only I could dissect that alien it has Nobel Prize written all over its little green head Whoa. favorite scientist favorite scientist hmm well, I sure wish I had wooden teeth like that Tycho Brahe. <laughs> Maryland, Maryland, Maryland. Oh, damn, I better not forget that password, or they'll never let me on that barge. The human military industrial complex is apparently using a marine barge for surface transportation to and from the island. You may be able to use it to get to the island. <laughs> I ain't taking you nowhere without proper authorization. Marilyn, will you take me to the island now? Now you're talking. Welcome aboard, soldier. Your ship must have crashed somewhere nearby. But be careful! The island must be positively crawling with human warriors! The humans are moving your ship. You must find a way to release it. Dr. Fritzenberger put molasses in the V2 engine? Ah, what a mess! These Americans are no fun.
Something's wrong with this ship. I can't take off! The humans have removed the power cells from the ship's engine core. I've detected the radiation signature of the energy cells coming from a human marine transport vessel near your location. You've done it, Crypto! You've collected the energy cells required for liftoff! Return to your ship immediately! in hopes of discovering his secret base. But instead he came here, to a civilian facility known as the White House, to meet with his leader, the President. I knew it. Armquist couldn't lead an army of ants. Cut to the part where I crashed the party. I wanted to seek out this White House. Find out what sort of place it is, what defenses it has. And then destroy all the humans, gotcha. No, no! Stealth is our watchword. Just disguise yourself and make your way to the White House. Okay, I'm at the White House. Looks kinda like a palace. Big, stodgy, neoclassical plantation style. Hmm. I'm detecting a herd of human scientists exiting the White House. Perhaps they've just had an audience with this president. I want you to scan their minds. Ooh, that's a challenge. I hate these. The challenge will be impersonating one. Read as many of their minds as you can. Crypto, you may have to make small talk. And conversation has never been your strong suit. Blue Rider? That Armquist picks some really stupid passwords. Follow this human. He said something about Armquist. What is loose? Excellent work, Crypto. I have detected military installations up ahead. Now that you have his password, persuade the guards to admit you inside. The password is Blue Rider. Welcome to the Octagon, sir. The General's expecting you. Better get back on patrol. My impatience is Nothing. at an end. Try to get near Armquist and see what you can learn. Which is why the President has asked me to make some... changes. Changes? Don't worry, General. You'll still be in command of our military forces. That much I've decided. You've decided? It's only logical. My organization has the skills, the specialists. But up to now, we've been a federal agency operating on a limited scale. This new threat, however, demands a radical new concept of national defense. The hell are you talking about? I'm talking about a project for a new American century. The time has come to unite our five defense branches under a single chain of command. Five branches? Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and Majestic, of course. 
You've got to be kidding me! It's the start of a whole new era, General. And the President would like you to deliver the good news. Are you out of your mind? You really think the Joint Chiefs will let Majestic swallow them whole without a fight? I think you'd better convince them to. And General, don't ever talk to me that way again. Yes, sir. So, huh? Majestic and the army getting it on. Hmm, I should have known. Those sly dogs. Bit cavalier about this, aren't you? Why the hell not? I don't think it makes any difference. I didn't clone you to think. And it may make a very big difference indeed. In any case, we have what we came for. Return to your saucer and report back to the mothership. Armquist is heading to a meeting with the other human warmongers. His orders are to unite them against us. No biggie. I'll just take him out. Yes, but that would still leave the others alive. Martyring Armquist will only stiffen their resolve. Oh, well. I guess I'll have to do them, too. Follow Armquist to that meeting. Where the warmongers are gathering for the tribal war council. Take the form of a human warmonger and infiltrate Armquist's meeting. Then, use your powers of persuasion to turn the others against him. The evidence is overwhelming. First, communist spies infiltrated a small country fair in the American heartland and kidnapped the winner of the beauty pageant, violating her corn-fed virtue in God only knows what unspeakable ways. When they were done with her, they destroyed the whole fairground. Civilian casualties were tragically high. Aren't you jumping the gun here, Armquist? That fire might have just been set by rowdy teenagers. I did as much or worse back in my day. Kids will be kids. He's right, General. Kids today may lack discipline, but they're not communists. I think you're making too much of all this. Last, a communist agent used an experimental nuclear explosive device in a direct attempt to assassinate me at Area 42. I don't suppose you managed to catch this so-called assassin general, or are we just supposed to take all this on faith? Sorry, General, but you'll have to do better than that if you want my support.
I don't know who the hell you are, General, but you got a big mouth! Son of a... You! How did you do that? Come and get me, you comet piece of crap! Okay, we'll do it your way. Eat hot plasma, monkeys! Crypto! Your cover has been blown! You asked for it, you got it! Annihilate the human! You dirty rats! You're the rats who killed my br- Huh? Your way's not very sportsmanlike. You can run, you little freak, but you can't hide! Who's hiding? Let's get funky. Excellent! Now this is what I call a mind. Knock on quiz dead, Crypto! You ask for it, Yuri! Come on, snake! Support needed! Over! Go on, you comet punk! Finish it. It didn't have to be this way, Armquist. Uh, what do... <coughs> What do you mean? I mean, this ridiculous war. We could have worked together, you and I, to forge a new future, a common future of peace and prosperity for our two peoples. Just put me out of my misery, will you? I'm serious. You... you didn't want to destroy us? Of course not. We were as scared of you as you were of us. Deep in our hearts, I think what we really wanted was to be just like you. Really? Really. I guess, at the end of the day, we really are all just human beings. Psych. Pathetic human. I've been monitoring the radio. This human with us says the president will appear before his subjects today. This president must be more integral to their social order than I suspected. I have noticed a significant increase in activity in front of the White House. Right on. Just tell me where he is and what he looks like. I... Uh... uh... Uh, the mothership's tracking system is broken. I think he uses those convoys of long black vehicles for transit. You think? I can't exactly pinpoint the president from orbit, Crypto. It's not like he walks around with a big red arrow over his head. I need you to follow those vehicles so we can identify him. Scanning. Oh, look! Their vehicles use hydrocarbon combustion. How quaint. Crypto, try not to breathe! The electricity! It speaks to me! So does that trash can. And the small birdies. Look out! It's an ambush! Circle the wagons! Throw me a shotgun! Get the living folk inside! Oh... I must 
Stop watching human television. Screw it. Destroy them all! Good work, Crypto! Double ambush. Uh, gotta hand it to those monkeys. That was pretty smooth. Crypto! The Wither creature has just made another broadcast. He says the president will be appearing before his subjects in a short time. Clearly, he is a wily adversary, much more so than Armquist. And so you want me. I wouldn't expect the humans to take this lying down. But hey, you're a big crow now, right? You can take care of yourself. Good work, Crypto! Now that their president is dead, the human senators are voting for a new leader. The vote is agonizingly close. When the president dies, doesn't the vice president become president? Just shut up and kill those senators before they get inside the Capitol! The voting was inconclusive. The leaderless humans will have no choice but to surrender to us now. The humans have mass produced a weapon that threatens our main invasion force. These Tesla coils are cheap, shoddy versions of the ones you met in Area 42. And you, my impulsive friend, are to destroy every Tesla coil unit in town. Interesting. Some are automated, but others require human operators. So what do I do with those? Simple. Each unit must be connected to a nearby control console. Destroy them all! I don't care how. So I'm taking out the Tesla coils and the control consoles. Once again, Crypto, you have crystallized the thrust of my gist entirely. Destroy those Tesla coils on foot. Otherwise, they'll disrupt your saucer. Electric defenses? Only one more device remains. Hurry and destroy it. in bunkers. You'll have to use your saucer to destroy them. Tesla coils! Destroy these primitive human defenses, Crypto. Only one more device remains. Hurry and destroy it! Ah! You scattered them like roaches! Marvelous! Stuff up? Oh, 
the Furon Emperor will be most pleased. Yeah, it's, uh, it's hard to believe. Silhouette will be meeting you there himself. Try not to glow too much when you accept his surrender. Be sure, it's the least we can do. Silhouette, I presume. You don't look like a general. You don't look like a little green man. Thank you. So, waving the white flag, huh? All the monkeys got together, scratched their heads, accepted the inevitable. That sense of humor. Just like your... Like my what? Uh, file. Your dossier, Crypto, said you were quite the Joker. I think I never told you my name. No, I suppose I have your brother to thank for that. Chick? I'm a patriot. If you had to put up with politicians playing grab ass all day long, you'd wear a mask too. Me, I get my kicks the old fashioned way, beating up bad monkeys. Funny, that's just what Crypto 136 said. Of course, he was a real cut up too. Well, so much for plan A. What's that? That, my gender-deprived friend, is plan B. The end of your insidious invasion. A champion even you can't defeat. The greatest political mind of the 20th century in the greatest weapon ever built by man. Behold! The robo -prez. If elected, I promise destroy all furons! That is seriously messed up. Robo-Prez, dirty tricks mode! Aw, oh, man, now I'm gonna get my suit dirty. Oh, I should have held on to that tourist map. 
Man, I love the smell of presidential brains in the morning. Just remember who set that giant potus of destruction upon you. Right. You know who I mean. Oh, that silhouette guy, right? Uh, or chick. Could you do me a favor and not creep me out? Sure. In any case, he, I mean, she ran from the capital. I lost sight of him. Her. Silhouette. Near the... Attention, Furons. Attention, Furons. Is this thing on? Oh, whatever. I know you little gray freaks can hear this. I'm sure you're out there listening. Gloating. Pretty much, yeah. It seems only fair. Credit where credit is due. You did it. You beat my beautiful robo-prez. And now you're probably sitting around fantasizing about destroying all the humans. Typical. Sure you handled the boys, Armquist Hoffman. Oh, that was a challenge. <laughs> but everybody knows which sex is dominant on this planet. There's still plenty of time to get your asses handed to you. That is, if you're not too scared to fight a girl. No, no, I'm not hung up on the whole Pudenda thing. So come on, Crypto. Let's dance. I'll even let you lead. I'm at the Octagon. Don't keep me waiting. so hot. Majestic. We'll never give up the struggle to resist you alien freaks. Struggle's over, babe. Furon's won. Human Zipperoni. You think you won? You think America is the only human civilization on Earth? That's what all the Americans seem to think. At least the ones I scanned. Smug little insect. There are three billion people on this planet. And everywhere there are humans. There is Majestic. Sorry, doll face. Without you, Majestic's just a bunch of dudes in crappy black suits. Majestic, MJ, twelve, the twelve, all over, all over the world. Attention, humans. I am Cryptosporidium of the planet Furon. This planet is now a territory of the Furon Empire. Resist this. Good evening, my fellow Americans. In recent days, rumors have run rampant of flying saucers, alien invaders from other worlds, indeed, 
of my own demise. I'm speaking to you tonight to put these rumors to rest. The truth is, America has been attacked, not by little green men, but red. And our invaders are most definitely of this earth. Despite the efforts of this administration, our nation has been infiltrated by communists, godless deviants who hate us for our freedom-loving way of life. Their conspiracy, details of which are only now coming to light, included drugging our water supplies and controlling our media via mind control. The result was mass hysteria, a national delusion which provided them the cover they needed to execute their fearful scheme. But your military and intelligence agencies fought back, and I'm proud to report that once again, America has emerged victorious. However, the price is dear. At this moment, millions of Americans are working hard and playing by the rules, unaware of the lingering toxic pollutants in their minds. To combat this lingering menace, we have set up testing centers across the nation, at shopping malls, local schools, even churches. The test is simple and painless. Why, our family had it just this morning, and I'm back at work. Doris is in the kitchen baking brownies, and little Billy's out playing tag in the rose garden right now. It's completely safe. So, trust your government. Trust your president. Freedom is on the march, my friends. Good night, and God bless America. Step inside, citizen. You sure this thing is safe? Step inside, citizen. Jeez Louise, I don't know. Hey, buddy, you heard the president. If it's good enough for him, it's good enough for us. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. Well, I guess a test couldn't hurt. in a barrel. And so, the world breathes a sigh of relief. The threat of alien invasion proved a false alarm. As for those who scan the skies for a real visit from outer space, they may be in for a very long wait. Perhaps the lesson is that we should turn our gaze inward, remembering that man's worst enemy is often himself. <laughs> <laughs>